Next is the if then else statement, which gives our program many conditions. Let's use age as our variable again and write some conditions. If age is greater than or equal to 65, then print you are eligible to retire at age, which will be 65. Else, if age is greater than or equal to 20, you are not eligible to retire at age. Copy, paste. Else if age is greater than or equal to 13 and age is less than equal to 19, print you are a teenager. Else, sis out, you are not old enough to work at age. If you have not watched the Java variables and operators video, check it out where I explain operators greater than or equal to the and operator less than or equal to and the concatenation operator. Let's run. You are eligible to retire at 65. Change 65 to 40. Run. You are not eligible to retire at 40. Change 40 to 16. Run. You are a teenager, 16. The if condition is the main test and will execute its statement if the condition returns true. The if ifs statements are additional conditions just in case the main test returns false. Else, has a default statement just in case all of the conditions return false. Let's change 16 to 1. Add a breakpoint, then debug. F5 to step into our program. Age equals one. Do you see how our first condition is highlighted and getting ready to be evaluated? When I step into our program again, the first statement will get skipped and the next condition will get evaluated. F5. Else, if age is greater than 20, F5 again, the next condition, else if age is greater than 13 and age is less than 19. F5 for the last time. We'll finally execute the default statement. You are not old enough to work at one. F5. 
That's one of the downsides to the if then else if statement. All conditions are evaluated until a match is found. When a match is found, then the program exits the flow. However, if a condition is not found, then the default statement is executed.